Well, hello, hello. This is Rosa RCG Creations. How are you doing? I'm bringing to you a Sam's Club craft, Sam's Club haul, grocery haul. And the reason I'm bringing it to your attention is everybody knows nationwide the cost of groceries. And of course, for those who may or may not know, Sam's is a discount grocery store where you can order and buy, excuse me, purchase. You can order. Yeah, you can order online. You can purchase items at a discounted price. Okay, and that's the joy of that. So you're getting to buy items at a certain price and save it for down the line as long as you have pantry, freezer, and refrigerator space. So what I did, and we just, of course, we're empty nesters, so it's just me and hubby, but I wanted to bring some things to your attention. Okay, and here, let me see. First thing is this Stouffer's lasagna. It's the big one, the big family one, but that's what they do because you order stuff in bulk. Okay, so this Stouffer's lasagna was, I just saw it. Oh, here we go. $13.48. So that really hasn't changed that much in price this, since this past year. Next thing we have is the, uh, trying to find this, oh, here's our meat. This is, how many pounds is this? This is 10, 10 pounds for $39.96. And I'm going to bring this up because I want you to see this. Look at that. That is, whoops. Let me get it over here. There's the price. And then look at that. That is 90% lean, 10% fat. So this is good quality. It's from Members Mark, 100% pure beef. Okay. So that's a good chunk. And I'm just going to slice it up, wrap it in my foil. And then that was the meat. Next thing we have is our Glad. I think this is, this is yeah, my Swiffers. See, my Swiffers were $16.37, but you get $28. And these are just the refills, but of course, you always, it always comes with a handle. because They always give you the one with the handle on it. Okay. Next thing, Huggy and I already, we already <laughs> dipped into our, our snacks for the day. So we had some of these little miniature candies. And these are the Hershey's miniature candies. And this one... Does it say what the weight is? I thought it said what the weight was. Okay, it just says 220 pieces of assorted miniatures. But it does not give the weight. But the cost, I wanted to show you on that. Okay, where is... Okay, so where's the candy? Not everything's the same price as what it says it is. Okay, it's not on here, but anyway, that chocolate, I think, was close to $16. Okay, oops. Then here I have the two big things of goldfish. Okay, and this one is 66 ounces, so it's four pounds. And, of course, they come in the individual bags, which is sealed, vacuum sealed. So that makes a great way to store. I'm not going to have a whole bunch. Oops, sorry about that. And then we got into our big box of cereal. So we got two. This is a total of 55 ounces, which is three pounds of Kellogg's Frosted Flake cereal. Hubby got into it because he was going to put it in his... We put them in... Uh, there are two little bags. We put these in cereal containers for easy pour out. Okay. And then because here in Texas, it's still very, very hot, Javi drinks a lot of Kool-Aid, a Gatorade. And so we got the great big container of Gatorade for him. And this one is 76 ounces, which is four pounds. So this will last up from now to the end of the year, which would be summertime, which around here could be anywhere, October, November, because every year it's different of how long it stays cold. Okay, and then we've got... Uh, Oh, I didn't bring those out. We got some Thai detergent. That was 26.18. 18 
And then we got some, oh, hubby, we already put that together, but we got some Dawn, that spray foam stuff. You get one main container and you get two refills, but that Dawn was only $9.98. So that price hasn't really changed very much for that. Oh, here's the Gatorade. The Gatorade was only $10.98, so that price has not changed very much, which is very pleasing because my husband works in a warehouse, and they have this, um, they make these plant, uh, items where it's over 100 degrees in heat. In temp oh, here comes Hubby. Hubby, will you show them? Put, just put it in front of the camera. Here is that Tide detergent, that liquid detergent, and that Tide is about, now that one, that price... The Tide detergent is $26.18. Now that is a little steep. And I know a lot of people have been saying about prices, not just of groceries, but other products. So this must be from the manufacturer because $26.18 for that is a little on the steep side. But you gotta you gotta have a little detergent to do your laundry. Oh, it does a hundred and hubby's tell me it does 115 loads in that big thing 15. of Tide detergent. Oh, excuse me, it's 158 loaves. Thank you, honey. Then we went ahead and splurged. Hubby loves buffalo spice. And he makes his own because we all get ahead and we'll get the wings, the fresh wing, fresh wings or the frozen wings. And then we put him, he puts them in the ninja. And then he cooks them in the ninja and then he makes his own. Uh, he hasn't done this. We usually just buy the bottle of sauce. But have you priced how much hot sauce cost? So we're going to start doing the powder, and that way he can make as much as he needs and not have to make extra. He'll make just enough what he needs. But this is from the Walmart brand, the Kinders. The Kinders, and this is a di di dip and seasoning buffalo and real blue cheese sauce. And this one is, is 10.6 ounces. So... This is going to last him at least two months for sure. Maybe three, but I doubt it. He likes his hot sauce. And this is, you see me in my other videos. I use his lemon butter garlic. This is some great stuff. But I was goofing around and I found three or four different recipes where I'm going to try to make my own. And if I can match this, I can save, let's see, this one. Let's see, where is it? These were only like four dollars and some change, some change. This was not very expensive. It was less than five dollars. I wish I could see where it was, but it doesn't say. And I don't want to make this video for too too long of a video. And this is our garlic and herb one. This one is that buttery steakhouse. You've seen that in a bunch of my videos. This stuff is really 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 good. And I know because I have some in my long term storage. If you go from those companies online that um, do the number 10 cans of powdered items because you can do margarine, butter, um, other other things like that. There's whipping cream, sour cream, but it's all in a powder form. And you can make your own seasonings. But for $5 for me, it's not worth the headache because it's just being him. Now, if we were a large family, it would definitely be worth it for y'all to do is make a big batch of this and make it yourself with your dry products. So, but... For us, it isn't. And then I went ahead and got these are the Mission carb tortillas. Because I'm trying to, you know, everybody knows I'm all y'all know my subscribers that I'm trying to do lose some weight here. So I'm trying to do watch my calorie intake. This is only 70 calories. It's four net carbs for tortilla. So I got a package of that, and then Hubby got his regular old traditional. Mission flour tortillas, and these, once you open it, they stay on your pantry shelf, but then once you've opened them, you keep them in the fridge. These have actually lasted, but most of the time we eat them before that, is they last a good two months before they start turning on you. So that's a good way to have your tortillas, and this Mission, this is just my personal opinion, is a good brand, it's a good brand and it's got great flavor. Now, I've done the mission. I've had these many times before. And yes, I'm going to tell you right now. You can taste the difference between the regular old flour ones and the carb, the low carb ones. Yes, there is a difference in flavor. But it really isn't that much of a difference to offset the fact that you're doing. So instead of me having just one taco, I can eat two tacos. 
with that because of the carb intake and the calories of the carb balance tortillas. So it's, it's a trade-off, but it's a nice, good trade-off. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, we got... I got, got some, I told you about the Dawn Spray, got the Swiffer Duster. Oh, and then we bought some Scotch Brite, but don't know where they got put, but we bought some Scotch Brite scrubbers. Um, oh, you saw the gold, oh, the goldfish right here, here we go. The goldfish were only twelve thirty-two, and that's about the same range they've been for the last two years, so that really hasn't changed very much. Oh, that big box of those Frosted Flakes, they were only seven eighty-eight, so that's a pretty darn good price for that. So sometimes buying in bulk really does save you some money. Uh, we also bought some uh, three, there are a bottle of three, no excuse me, there are a bottle, two bottles of A1 sauce, there were $7.48, and then there were two bottles of the Liam Perrin Worcestershire sauce, those were only $7.98. Oh, here they are. Here's those spices. They were the Buttery Steakhouse, it's five four, these were $5.48. The buffalo sauce was $4.91. The garlic, this garlic one was $5.98. So whatever the product is, there is a difference in the price. Because the garlic one is $5.98. Well, the other ones were $4.98. $5.48. Okay, so there is a difference in the price on that. Uh, let's see. Something cost $16.18. I don't know what that was. Then we bought two loaves of white bread, which are $4.76, so that was a good price. Oh, here's my price. Here's my regular flour tortillas, were $3.98. And then let's see. Uh, something, something was queso. I forget what the... Oh, we bought some chips. We bought two big bags of chips. One was queso chips, and one was a regular cafe. They're just little round tortilla chips. But those chips were only $4.34. They're the great big bags of chips. I don't know. We went to a party earlier today, so I don't know where they went. Because we took them to the party. Okay. And, oh, here go my flour. This regular flour tortillas. This whole bag right here was only three ninety eight. So that's a pretty good price for that. And it definitely beats making homemade flour tortillas. I like to make homemade, but they're a lot of work. Then we did get two gallons of milk. Just regular whole milk, the gallon. Which was three sixty three, so that's pretty good because I was paying just a month ago, almost five forty six for one gallon of whole milk. So those were three sixty three, and then we've got uh, we ended up getting some ham that's in the fridge in the garage. I forgot to take that out. Sorry about that, but that was seven eighty two. We bought some breakfast sausage. It was two pounds for seven fifty eight. Because you see my other videos about where I do the breakfast meals and uh, make the breakfast muffins. So we got a big thing, two pounds of sausage, breakfast sausage. It was the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. And then we did pie, um, I don't know what this was. It says something Hormel BLB for $18.94. I don't know what that was. And then we got some cans. There were eight cans of refried beans for $7.98. They were the regular 16 ounce cans. So you can just open up a can for your meal. Okay, and then so the total for everything was three hundred eight seventy four. So you know, yes, it was a lot, and that's a, that's an awful lot of money. Uh, but some of this stuff is going to last us three, at least two to three months. Okay, and so for us, and ever like everybody else, trying to do your best you can is sometimes make sure double check. And I did do this because uh, I go to Kroger H E B here, the local stores in my neighborhood. Because I'm here in Texas, South Texas, and so I priced. Because uh, we get the little ads on every Wednesday, the ads that they have for specials. So I checked the Kroger one, and I checked the H-E-B one, then I checked the Sam's one. And for the majority of what I was buying, it was cheaper just to go to Sam's. So for, uh, for us, it was cheaper to just go to one store and buy everything that we needed versus going to three or four different stores to save money. Because once you offset the price of the cost of fuel, because fuel is still pretty high, I'm going to all the stores... It, didn't really, it wasn't really worth it all. So we ended up going. So I just wanted to show you a nice, and something different for those of you who don't know, is you may want to do some of your bulk groceries at a bulk grocery store, like a Sam's, a Costco, 
Uh, they go, of course, it depends on what part of the country or what part of the world that you're in or what your, your area offers you. And I do some of that bulk stuff, and uh, but a lot of times, you know, if you check, just go online and check your local, local store, because almost all the stores offer you an ad for what their specials are for that week or what they're selling that week. And you can look at the consumer price, because sometimes, because I pass them on the way to work or way at home, one way or the, either way. Uh, two of them by a Kroger and a HEB, so where I go to, and it, I can just take a quick little UE and make a quick little stop and just get two or three things, and then go down maybe two blocks and go to the other store and get two or three things, and I, you know, if if for me, if I can save like twenty five thirty dollars in doing that, it's worth it for me to do that because I'm in and out because I know exactly what I'm getting, get those two items and get out of there. I'm not going to the whole store. I'm just going in there and getting those two things two or three things, whatever they are, and get my stuff to get back out, leave them in my trunk, go down two or three blocks, go to the next store, go in there, grab that stuff out, put it in a car, and then go home, and then unload it, and there's, and you know, I was in, the, the food was in the car, maybe, maybe 30 minutes at the most from one store to the other, so that's not too bad, but I don't like to do a lot of that unless I'm, if I'm not saving at least $30 for me to go to all these different stores, it's just going to be cheaper for me to go in and get it at one store. I, sometimes I just go get everything at Kroger, or I just get everything at HEB. And, or, you know, I'll go to a box store, a good quality box store, and like Sam's, and just do all my bulk shopping there. And what I get there is what I get there, because pretty much everything that I want, because they've got fantastic produce. They have uh, canned items, like vegetables, uh all kinds of stuff. They got stuff for your housing. They stuff got stuff for your kitchen. Your stuff for your garage. There's all kinds of stuff that you. Can, they got electronics, clothing. So if you check those, uh, check those stores out if you haven't already. If there is some in your area, and then check them price about, and just you know, just do spend like an hour, and write down each store. Make yourself a little column list of what much this costs, how much this costs. And then just do a quick little add up and see, you know, is it worth it for you just to go and do everything at one store? Or is it maybe a lot cheaper for you to go ahead and go to two, maybe three stores in one trip? But anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and share. And I will be posting uh, these itemized items just so you know what everything is in the description box. And I thank you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. YouTube likes it when we get my thumbs up. And paste, post me a comment. I would love to know where you shop. And let me know how what you're dealing and your uh, groceries are like in your area. And let me know what part of the country that you're in or what state that you're in. Just to have a, you know, kind of familiarized area. Because I have a friend of mine. Uh, I was very surprised because she, she was, sent me, because me and her, we're older generation. So she sent me an email. She goes, I went to the store because I was totally out of bags. And um, she has her own, she has her own little mini guard and stuff, but she doesn't have any chickens and stuff and her dozen just a dozen eggs was almost seven dollars and i was going oh my gosh oh my gosh now thank goodness i didn't have to buy eggs because we got three dozen eggs just sitting here because when it's a good price i'll get like three or four or five dozen eggs and then i freeze two dozen of those and uh, i just put them in a silicon muffin cup or a silicon mold of any kind of silicon mold pop the egg stick it in there Put it on a cookie sheet. Make sure that it's the silicone molds on a cookie sheet. Stick them in the freezer for about two hours until they're solid. They freeze. Then I take them out of the silicone mold and I put them all in a gallon baggie. And I don't care what the mold looks like because I don't really care about the mold. I just care about saving that raw egg and freezing it. And then you put it in a zip uh, freezer bag. And then next time you want some eggs or whatever, you just take the uh, egg out the night before or at least two or three hours before. Let it thaw out at room temperature by itself, and then scramble, scramble you up some eggs, so make a fried egg. Uh, put them in your baking items if you're going to be cooking with something. They, they're, they're wonderful. They're, that's a great way to use eggs in the future, at, yes, to pass the pa prices from the past. So that's a good way to stretch your budget. But anyway, we thank you. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.